the Eyewitness Museum, created by combining traditional filmmaking techniques with state-of-the-art graphics, stripping away the mysteries of nature and science to reveal the essence of each subject. Bringing the world into sharp focus, The Making of Eyewitness. The distinct style of the Eyewitness books is the basis for each of the programs. Each half-hour episode is based on a book title. The Eyewitness book's visual style gives the program makers a starting point and a challenge. The challenge of transferring the clarity and super-realism into moving images and sound. Now let's take a look behind the scenes at the making of Bird. For the opening of the Bird program, we'd planned something really special. First of all, an ostrich egg was exploded with compressed air and filmed at high speed. The image was then electronically cleaned up. Next, we filmed macaws against a neutral background of a different color to the plumage. Difficult, with one of the most colorful birds in nature. Once the macaws were separated from the background, they could be placed anywhere on the screen in any size. And gradually multiplied. Eventually, they fill the egg. Filming in the eyewitness studio was more straightforward. The art department built a realistic forest set against a stark white background. By tracking across the set, the woodland is revealed. The set has to convince not only the viewer, but the animals placed in it. In this case, a pheasant and a fox. Both were supplied by an animal sanctuary and felt quite at home on the set. Although the fox was not allowed to get as close to the pheasant as he would have liked. From a fox's point of view, there were some strange things in the forest. The hatching duck egg took 12 hours to film. The egg was delivered to the studio ready to hatch and the cameraman waited. All that was needed to film the duckling emerging from the egg was the patience of the cameraman and the hard work of the little bird. although both had a few rests along the way. We made use of footage shot by specialists who trained geese for many months to obtain close-ups of them in flight. With their dedication, we really were able to fly with the birds.